As um, Job has a little look to the inside of um, of right there. Also Richard Gore having a look on Daniel Craft a little bit further back. Good move from Job. Yeah, this crazy, crazy close there. And you're right, just um, this is um, Gore and Craft having a battle. So Craft maybe he's got a little run. We'll perhaps have a little look into... Um, into the corkscrew here, side by side, late on braking for both drivers. Richard gives him the room on the inside. He's got the inside for the right hand a part of it. Will he get a good enough drive out of there? He does, yes indeed. So great defensive driving from uh, Richard there. And Savinovic now, championship leader, looking around the outside. Smolenski's out of control. And did he give anyone a, a nudge, did he? Oh, it might not have been Smolenski. No, it was, uh, it was Graham who was out of control. Oh, and Baker's involved and Kaiser turning Graham. And Graham did really well to save that, Alex. That's, that was pretty tough. That is pretty close racing around there right now. So, so tight in this mid-pack right now. No one can even move. Looks like a DTM race out there right now. Oh, and that's um, Kaiser giving, um, giving Graham a little nudge back. So maybe a little bit of retaliation from, um, from the last turn there. I don't know. But um, Graham saves the car nonetheless. These guys just need to be careful because they're in reverse grid positions, Alex. I don't want to have a race ender here. Oh, just having a little look at another battle. We jump back to uh, to Laura as well. She's got Robert Fagg around the outside right now. Oh, they're so, so close. And you've got Dan Hunt trying to get in on the mix at the same time. Bonds had to concede the place at least to Fagg just to hold on to the spot from Hunt, but doesn't get a very good line either. Whitehead's struggling as well, Alex. He's really struggling now, and Bond comes in and hits Whitehead. Whitehead was really slow under braking there for the corkscrew, Alex. And and now, look, there's a slowdown penalty for Fag, I think, as well. But Whitehead's got all sorts of problems. I don't know if he's got tyre issues. Remember, the front tyres just take a pounding in this heat. But, yeah, he like you say, he does seem slow. Is he ducking into the pit lane? No, he's not. But just this pack all of a sudden has dropped back four and a half seconds from, uh, from right. Yeah, it's just one slow lap, isn't it? A couple of slowdowns, a couple of people fighting in the middle of that pack. Wojciech Savidovic, um, Pete Newman is there, Steve Burke's there, Dave Baker's there, Andres Katz is in there somewhere as well. Um, 20 cars separated by five seconds, Alex, at this yeah, point. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Katz is right in the back of that field as well, just behind your own Kaiser right now. And uh, he'll be looking at that thinking, I've got six laps to go. What am I going to do? Kaiser's got horrible front right damage on that Kia Optima as well, so that'll be affecting him around this predominantly um, right-hand uh, circuit. Yeah, just uh, on board with our championship leader as well, Svidovic down in 17th place. He's just not been able to progress through this field at all. We said it was going to be tricky for these guys to, um, to move, and of course he had the biggest job to do. I think you're absolutely right there. I think it'd be a great drive from... Uh, from Ellis, he got himself into that position quite early on in the race and he's been able to um, to hold Laidler off for the best part of, of this race now. And um, looking at the lap times, they were all very, very similar. There's not an awful lot going on between them. So um, all well in the mid 128s there. So Smith um, actually Laidler just about the quickest, but we're only talking by about four one hundredths of a second. Look at. Um Look at this gaggle, mate. Uh, 14th on back, Pete Newman. Yeah, Pete. Oh, wow. Well, and you just, just to that shot there that you just saw, just, yeah, Pete just going through the uh, through the field there, and um, all of a sudden, it's just this massive pack just follows him through it, and there's still some flowing around the corner right now as well. And this Ellis, oh, he's hit the curb. He bounced off the curb, and that slightly unsettled him, but I think he's okay. You can see that pretty much every corner on that um, that Kia's got some sort of damage or denting on it. He's been beaten up a little bit, Newman, but he's gone forward from, well, he's barely moved forward. 15th on the grid, 14th now in the race. Svidovic having a little look on Gore. Gore was putting a little bit of pressure a moment ago on um, Pete Newman. I was about to comment and say how, what good meeting uh, Richard's having. Looking very, very quick, but he's got his hands full right now. Daniel Kraft, and that was forceful and he maybe inadvertently helped out his team leader there he gave him a bit of breathing space yeah, exactly and Svidovic has lost the place there as well of course to 
to Craft and uh, he's under a bit of pressure from Stephen Burke now as well. Burke trying to come through on the inside of the championship leader. Svidovic having to hold it around the outside. You can see Burke in the uh, rear view mirror there. There he is, pops into the view right now. Svidovic is going to have the inside line for this right hander. Will he get the place back? I think it's a great track for going too wide as Laguna as well. So many different lines. And especially with the Kier Optima, you can keep so much momentum, even if you're not on the shortest route. And Savinovic, oh, they bang, bang door handles there. Stephen Burke, it, we will have the inside line now for the upcoming left-hander. But Savinovic sweeps around the outside. He gets the move done. And look, David Baker's there as well, Alex. Yeah, Baker, he was caught up in something at the start of this race, so he's recovered quite well. Um, car does look a little bit battered. Somebody very sideways there. I think that's Ben Palmer. He's a former race winner in this series. He's a privateer this season, not doing the full schedule. It's a long schedule as well, Alex, isn't it? Running from, we started off in was it April, and then we're going through all the way to December. Indeed, look at, um, what's going on at the front? Something's happened at the front. Smith's now in third, and look at Laidlaw, he's going for the lead down into turn one and Stevens coming back and he hits Laidler and Smith's going to try and go into second place now I can't imagine Smith must have made a, some sort of mistake there and he was clear in the lead two seconds clear so little mistake and that's how quickly it can uh, can change and then of course what's going on while these three are battling is they've got a very fast Sebastian Job and Jamie Rushworth hunting them down at about a second a lap at the moment so they're back within range and I think on the final lap we're going to have a shout out with five cars in it for uh, who's going to take this victory. Paul Smith won at Bathurst at the back end of last season. He drove an absolutely faultless race there, but he must have done something to lose the lead to Ellis Stevens. And Russell Laidler tried that move into turn one, and the door was closed emphatically by Ellis. Yeah, I don't think you can say anything else there, can you? It was like, uh, not this time, my friend. <laughs> that's a good, you know, that's something in touring cars. I think that's perfectly, um, it's all fair in love and touring cars, isn't it? Laidler still looking to get by as well. That Power Max car does look good though, and uh, Job and Rushworth, Alex, just lurking there, about two and a half seconds behind. This fighting here is allowing the two really, really fast guys out of this group to um, to close in. Yeah, I think by the end of this lap they're going to be on their tails. So last lap again, they were 1.5 seconds quicker than the three ahead. So it's not going to take uh, it's not going to take long. Whether they'll be able to get past in that final lap, I don't know. It's Jamie's going to want to try and get Sebastian that's the main thing so that might be the only saving grace for the uh, for the drivers ahead of them if they used to start to battle I think if Smith wants to catch up here he just needs to refocus he just needs to take a deep breath and to um, oh, gather his thoughts a little bit rushed with going slightly off track he'll be fine with that it won't have cost him a lot battle for ninth place Laura Bond Robert Fagg they resume their battle Into sector two, Robert Fagg's going to go for it. Yeah, had a little look. And he just judges it well. Laura, very fair there, give enough room, but maybe just a little bit too much. Robert's just about got a run for this tricky left-hander. Oh, and they do, and Bond just goes a tiny bit wide. Now she's going to have a look into the corkscrew. Is a move coming here from the Power Max driver? Jay Wright as well, wants a bit of the, uh, bit of the action. Got Wright's good... trying to go around the... Outside into the corkscrew, that hasn't worked, and now Whitehead is coming through as well. Bond's gone around the outside of Robert Fagg. I think Fagg's had a slowdown or something, as we're going to start the final lap for Ellis Stevens. With Russell Laidler, he's about six tenths of a second behind. Job has got into third, and Rushworth has now got ahead of Smith as well. Yeah, Smith's really struggling out there. I wonder if he's underfield or something like that, but... All of a sudden, it just seems to be falling back. Maybe tyres are just falling off more than the rest are right now. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe we can get a word with him at the end of the final race tonight just to see what happened, because I thought he had this one sort of wrapped up, to be honest. So did I, and I mean, I know from experience in this car, when it's hot like this, the track temperature over 40 degrees, the front tyres are just awful in the second half of the race, unless you've got the car set up maybe with slightly lower tyre pressures to come later on in the race. Robertson Hunt having a little battle out there as well. They're just ahead of that massive gaggle that is led by uh, Robert Fagg. I mean, that's 10th through to 
Oh, let me see. About 20, no, like 29th place. 10th to 19 cars there. That's just crazy. Jamie Flukes at the back of that pack, and he was in the top 10 last week. That's the quality of this field. And um, you know Laidler, what? It's Laidler. Oh, he's so, so close to Ellis. Two corners to go. Into the final corner. Could we see it? Here at Laguna Seca in race two. Oh, Ellis Stevens opens the door for Laidler. He parks it on the apex. There's no way through there, Sonny Jim. And Ellis Stevens, the season one and season two champion, is going to come through and takes the win in round two of the evening here at Laguna Seca, ahead of Russell Laidler, seventh and eighth on the grid, first and second on the road. You see this massive gaggle as they come across. We've got battles going on throughout, going in that final corner. Just look at how crazy is that Bond is. Is Bond going to get it? Is Fag going to get it? Laura Bond gets ninth place ahead of Fag. Then it's Whitehead. It's not Whitehead, it's Walker. Walker's got there on the line ahead of Andrew Whitehead. And then it's Pete Newman, Daniel Kraft, Wojciech Savidovic, Richard Gorin 16th, Andreas Katz 17th. Oh, goodness me. Kaiser, Wright, Burke. Baker, Blackall, Palmer, Janowski, Cuniff, Blake. Great, great um, drive from um, Ellis, you have to say there, though, to take that one. I mean, uh, very forceful in that turn one and, um, you know, good, good drive in there. And I thought I thought uh, Leyla was going to perhaps run a little bit deep and try and get a cut back or something like that just to try and use the draft there. But Ellis parked his car on the, uh, on the, hair, on the uh, final turn apex there perfectly. Thanks everyone for tuning into race two. We'll see you after this break for race three. Colin Cuniff on pole position, 25 car reverse grid. Don't miss that.